we're now going to take a look at the control structure of selection and specifically binary selection as a part of our look at structured algorithms. Now, binary selection involves a decision being made between two choices, splitting the program down different parts. This decision is made based on the condition being either true or false. In pseudocode, there are four keywords used for binary selection, which include if, then, else, and end if. So these keywords, they all mean if, which is placed before the condition, then, which is what happens when the condition is true, else, which is what happens when the condition is false, and end if, which closes off the subprogram. So let's now take a look at a pseudocode example. So we're going to look at a basic calculator. A program is to be developed that allows the user to enter in two different numbers. The software is to add or subtract the numbers at the discretion of the user and display the result. So when doing this in pseudocode, we've got to start it off the way all pseudocode starts off, which is with the begin keyword followed by the name of the actual program. Next, we need to get the two numbers. So get number one and get number two, which are both user inputs. Okay. We then open up our if statement okay, using the actual if keyword. If addition equals true. So the condition is addition being true. Then calculation equals number one plus number two. Else calculation equals number one minus number two. So if there is any other scenario other than addition, it's going to subtract number two from number one based on how this program is written. And if will then close off the subprogram. We need to then display the calculation as per required in the initial criteria of this program. And then we write end to close the program altogether and the name of the program itself there. The other thing I would like to also point out this at this point is the use of indentation. As you can see, begin and end are in line with each other. Then all our processes taking place are also in line with them. Once we use the if statement for our binary selection, that once again indents inwards, and then the then and else part also indent once again. Okay, so I hope this has also introduced you to how indentation is worked when doing our actual control structures within our pseudocode. The next example will be a flowchart of the same scenario. So basically, we start off with the terminator of begin. We get our input of number one and number two from the user once again. But now we use a diamond to show that there is a decision going on. So does addition equal true? Now, if addition does not equal true, it's going to be number one minus number two. We're going to display that calculation and that is the end of the program. Okay, but in the scenario where addition does equal true, calculation will be number one plus number two. And that will bring us back to displaying the calculation once again and end the program once again. So obviously the flowchart giving us more of a visual display of how we think this program is going to be mapped out. Okay, so I hope this has given you a good introduction into how specifically binary selection works. It's a selection between two choices and uses the keywords of if, then, else and end if when doing pseudocode or the use of a diamond splitting up a flowchart down two separate paths when done in a flowchart format. So I hope this all makes sense.